All right, I got my head blocking the light behind me right here. Um, got my glasses off. But, so you'll have to forgive me if you see some little glare coming off of it every so often. But uh, today's video is going to be another one from Silk City Hot Sauce. This is their cherry sriracha. Um, interesting thing about this one is when I was smelling it earlier... I really wasn't getting anything off of it too much. I'm going to give it a quick smell real quick and see if I can smell anything in particular off of that. I, it smells like chilies. It smells like a regular old sriracha. I don't smell any of the cherry in there. That's what big chili smells. Um, made in Vermont. Ingredients, red jalapeno, cherries, lime juice, garlic, and kosher salt. And honestly, the only thing I'm really smelling is the, the jalapeno, the chilies. Um, maybe a little bit of the lime juice, which would, the acidity of that would act a little bit like an emulsifier, but uh, that's all I'm really getting off of it as far as the smell. Um, I'm going to shake this up just a little bit more because it's kind of uh, condensed and coagulated up at the top of the neck. With a bottle. Um, refrigerate opening after opening, shake and serve. Looking for hot, you found it. Uh, this is SilkCityHotSauce.com, made by Levinsky's Top Shelf Foods from Rockingham, Vermont. Uh, it's a medium hot on their scale. It goes from mild, medium hot to WTF. Ten servings per container, half an ounce. Fine. All right, let's get us a spoonful of this. Now, my usual spoon that I use has gone missing. I don't know who took it. I'm angry at them for taking it because that's my spoon. I use it for my reviews, and they took it. Came in here in the dead of the night and took it. I'm not that I'm not that butthurt over it to be honest. Um got a fairly thick consistency to it. That just smells like chilies. Now that it's out though, I can smell a little bit of the garlic on it. Maybe a hint of the cherry. Let's give this a taste. Now, it does taste a lot better than it smells. Because now that I have it in my mouth, I can taste the, the jalapeno and the cherry. I also taste the lime juice and the garlic in there. I taste all of it. It's a little bit of saltiness to it. It's a pretty well balanced sauce. And for me to taste everything that's in there is it goes to show the care that goes into making a sauce like this. Um, also goes to show that you can't base everything exact, entirely off of what you smell. Uh, the flavor on that is actually quite good. I'm gonna give that a nine on the flavor. It's got that really crisp flavor that jalapenos are known for. A little bit of bitterness. It's got the tart and sweetness from the cherries, citrusy from the lime juice. And it's also got the garlicky flavor to it. And it actually it tastes really good. Um, I would use that probably like a traditional sriracha. Just put that on whatever. You would use sriracha on uh, the cherry on there. Does add a little bit of sweetness to it, which is really nice. Kind of offsets the jalapeno a little bit because jalapenos are pretty bitter. But as far as the burn is concerned, that's a really, really mild burn. For me, 
That's a one. But uh, that's honestly something I think my wife would enjoy. Um, probably give that a two for non chili head. It's got some heat to it. It's actually quite pleasant. I enjoy that burn quite a bit. Uh, if you're looking for specifics as to what you could put that on, for me, if I base that entirely off the burn, I'd probably, like on a grilled cheese sandwich, I would put that on there, uh, just as the hot sauce to add to it. Uh, I'd even put that on a BLT. <laughs> Anything like that. Like, this is would be a good sauce for any sandwiches you make. Um, you could probably put that on a steak, a little bit on a steak. I know somebody would call blasphemy, some people would call blasphemy on that, but you could, you could do it. The cherries mend themselves well to steak. Uh, pork chops would be really good with that. So, yeah, I give that a really high recommendation. This is a really, really good sauce. Um, I know it says medium hot on there, the scale, but don't don't be afraid of that. That's if you if you like hot sauce at all, this is something that you would enjoy. Um, definitely check them out. Uh, be looking for more sauces from them in the future. Uh, what you have looking coming up here probably in the next week or so I have some time off coming up you should be looking for a review and just about every day here for too long uh, Bear, River, Bear River Bottling Company has a lineup that I've been wanting to try uh, Bill Moore has been reviewing them high praise from him so that has me even more excited to try these sauces uh, so look forward to those here in the near future uh, thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, again, link for Silk City hot sauce in the description. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you again later.